welcome once again to another edition of the Red, Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, one thing I want to mention is as we're going into this show, I know your Real Estate Minute at the end is basically a recruitment uh, video it is the best way to say that, right? Absolutely. I think the point is, you know, everybody thinks going into winter is a slow season for real estate, mm -hmm. but it's not. And we are actively looking for real estate associates. We're looking for appraisers. So if anybody has an interest, definitely catch the real estate minute at the end. Right. So they're going to be watching this and thinking, I could sell that house. Well, if you think that, then wait to the end. She'll tell you how you can do that. Exactly. All right. Now let's first of all talk about five listings. And the first one is here in Pike County. Now this one's over toward Hatfield. It is. And if you're familiar at all with the Hatfield area, it's mm -hmm. very convenient to Pikeville itself and to Williamson. It sits on the road that kind of connects those. Mm -hmm. You're going to access it from Pikeville through the Sydney exit and then you're going to go up North Big Creek. This house is about nine miles and it sits on your right just past Burgett Branch. Now this house sits on 10 acres and the house itself is nice. It's a brick ranch and I know that's popular for a lot of people. It really is and it's a good size brick ranch. This is just over 1600 square feet. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. It is a little bit of an older house. It was built in 1970. Mm -hmm. Hasn't had an extensive amount of updates or anything like that, but this is one that somebody can come in, they can put their own mark on, they can really make this house what they want it to be. Right, and if you're looking at the price at the bottom of the screen, eighty nine nine is the price, and we say that a little bit early in this listing because, as you said, the owners know that you're going to have to come in and tweak it and make it your own, so they've given you that room in the price to be able to still come in and do that. Absolutely, and like I said, for what you can see, it's going to be a lot of cosmetic stuff. So you may mm -hmm. want to change flooring, you may want to update the kitchen, but the great thing is, if not, if this is your style, this house is ready to go. This house has a two car attached carport, plus a one car attached garage. So wow. you have, you could do a workshop that's attached to the house, mm -hmm. anything like that. An office, like you said, if you want it not necessarily in the house, but easy to access. And then there's also a detached garage. You can see that in one of the pictures scrolling. That detached garage is also on the property and the house sits on up from that. So that gives you an idea also of how much property and flat land you're looking at. And a lot of people in, in our region like to do the four-wheeling or ride their side-by-sides with, with all this garage space. If you know, and you worry about having a place to store those those things, whether it's your car, or your boat, your wave runner, or whatever, this offers that extra storage space for the toys. It does. It offers both of those garages, and then like I said, the carport for the cars would be perfect. All right, and as we mentioned before, eighty nine nine is the price on this one. Again, this home in the Hatfield community, easily accessible to Pikeville or the Williamson area, uh, sits on 10 acres definitely worth something giving Jennifer a call on because this is a new listing. It is. This is a brand new listing just put on the computer yesterday. Okay, so let's give your Pikeville office number. That number is 606-437-2333. Okay, now moving on to the next listing. This one is also in Pike County. This is on Bent Branch. So it's on the way to the mm -hmm. other listing right off of 119 Buckley's Creek. Exactly. Buckley's Creek. If you're on 119 going towards Williamson from mm -hmm. Pikeville, you're actually going to look for that Mita exit and you're going to take that exit. You're going to kind of go around uh, 119 and underneath it. Mm -hmm. You'll take that immediate left and this house sits about 500 feet up on your left. And the great thing that I like about this house, it sits up on a hill. Mm -hmm. So your driveway is a little bit of a hill going up there. And from the pictures, you really can't see the yard space that you have with this listing. If you're just driving by it, this mm -hmm. is one that's really, really tough to see how much usable land that you have along with the house. I really recommend somebody setting up a showing to get an idea. If you're looking for yard space and you don't think this one will have enough, I would like for you to see the house and see how okay. much is up, actually up there. So yeah, if this one is one that, that kind of piques your interest, go ahead and get that showing scheduled. Um, because, as Jennifer said, a lot of times the pictures just don't do it justice. Yeah, absolutely. It really doesn't on the outside space. We're looking at a three-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath home, and then an option for a fourth bedroom or a family room 
in the below grade area. Correct. You have a finished basement area that's a great family room. It's got a fireplace in it. It could be a gorgeous master suite if you wanted it to. Mm -hmm. There is an attached bathroom down there and a big closet. So however it works out best, the layout works out best for your family, this one could really fit that. Um, but again, this one is 179000 for this house, uh, again, in Pike County, just off of 119 if you take the Meta exit. So you've already heard Jennifer say, if you're interested in this one, just the, the lease, but you're curious about the yard space or some of the, how the outside of it lays out, you're not going to be able to see that from a traditional drive-by. So go ahead and contact Jennifer if this is something you're interested in. Let's give your email address. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay, now moving on to the next one. This one is on the right fork of Island Creek. Again, another Pike County listing. Mm -hmm. Right fork of Island Creek. So if you're familiar with the Island Creek area, you're gonna mm -hmm. go up uh, the right fork. It sits about a mile up on your right. You're so close to the city limits, you can almost throw a rock and hit the city limits from this house. So you're not in, but you're very close to being in the city. Right, and this one is one you talked about if, if you've got people in your empty nesters mm -hmm. or, or you're realizing at this point in life, it's like, okay, we have too much stuff, we have too much space, we want to downsize. This one is perfect for that. It is. This layout, it's a very um, traditional cottage style layout. So you've got um, all the upgrades, they've done a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. So you've got a really nice open kitchen. They've just put granite countertops in it, new bathroom. And wow. then you've got a bedroom on the first floor that's attached with a nice big open living room. The second floor is technically a finished attic. Could mm -hmm. easily be two additional bedrooms. You could use it as an office, whatever you would want to use. But total, you're looking at right around 1,200 square feet. Right. And it sits on two, a little over two and a half acres. So you've got yard space. If you want to put the above ground pool, uh, you know, you want to do some gardening or things like that. This one would be great for that too. And then like, you can see in that front picture, the front porch. So mm -hmm. you've got that front porch to sit outside and, and extend your living space too. Absolutely. And this one has a perfect front porch. You sit right there on the creek, so it really is kind of a serene front porch. And the greatest thing about this one is that we can say the price has just been reduced. Absolutely. So if this is one maybe you've looked at before and the price was a little out of your range, look at this one again because the, the owners are, are saying, hey, we're going to drop the price a little bit, attract some more people. Uh, so this is one hopefully that, that's not going to last long. Exactly. We're hoping not. All right. 139, 139,000 is the price on that house on the right fork of Island Creek. Uh, so make sure you give Jennifer a call, shoot you an email. Let's give that Pikeville number again. Okay, the number 606-437-2333. All right, now the next one is, is a house that you've probably seen if you have driven south out of Pikeville on US 23. This one sits just off of Caney Highway over to your right if you're going south. Mm -hmm. That is correct, and if you are driving by and you see a really large sign on somebody's back mm -hmm. deck that says to call Jennifer, that's this house. Yes, <laughs> so that's I the actually back view. saw it within the last week and glanced over and it caught my eye. So people are going <laughs> to see this. This is another one of those homes that the pictures, you wouldn't expect these pictures to come out of that home just by driving by and looking over. Yes, this was one. They went in and updated this house. This is an absolutely gorgeous house. Everything in here is done top notch. So they've put in the hardwood flooring pretty much throughout. Mm -hmm. They've done new kitchen cabinets, new countertops. It's all Electrolux stainless appliances. It's new bathroom fixtures, ceramic tile flooring. And then they've done a lot of work. It has a almost full finished basement that is, has a bar area, a workout mm -hmm. area, another full bathroom. It really is a house that has a lot to offer. And this is one we've talked about in the past that if you like to entertain, if you mm -hmm. like the big family gatherings or just like to have friends over for special occasions, you can't beat. There's not another home that will compare to this one. Exactly. There really isn't. And it's something that, you know, talking about the entertaining, you've got a side deck that, again, has a hot tub and all that. Mm -hmm. And then you've got that big rear deck that the sign is hanging on that you can see from 23 that's almost the entire length of the house that would be great for outdoor grilling, for a party. You know, mm -hmm. you've got a huge parking area out there for people to come in and out. So it really is a great entertainment house. Now this one is listed for $299. The MLS number on, that, on this one is 108706. 
that number will let Jennifer pull it up and get your showing scheduled right away. So um, real quick, let's just kind of change it up a little bit and give your website okay. because all these listings and more are on your website. Absolutely. The website is rbandw.com. Okay. Now we're going to end the show uh, with one that is we say in the Elkhorn City area, but this is but this is poor bottom. A lot of people will know right where that is. Off yes. of plus six ten, I believe. Yes, and it gets confusing because six eleven. Six eleven. Everybody will say uh, Elkhorn City, but you do not think of this as Elkhorn City. But poor bottom always has an Elkhorn City address. But yes, you're right off six eleven, which is very convenient to mm -hmm. twenty three. This one is actually very close to the other side of Marbone and Wolf Pit, the road that goes through there. Right. So it's very close on that end. Yeah, you can access this area from not far from the last listing mm -hmm. there. Um, if you're talking about the Caney Highway, US 23, you can access it that way. You can come in from Maribone, you can mm -hmm. come in from Elkhorn Creek. There are a lot of ways to access this home. There are. Yes. And this is another brand new listing, and this is one that I'm really excited for everybody to get to see the inside pictures of this home. Right, and you see that it is a double wide, but it from the inside looking at it, you wouldn't know that. I mean, it is one of the newer ones that have all the high-end upgrades. Absolutely. This is a 2007 Cavalier Double Wide. It's just over 2,000 square feet. Something that's unique about the layout, it is a four bedroom. Wow. And it offers three full bathrooms. So one of those full bathrooms is actually a Jack and Jill bathroom between mm -hmm. two bedrooms. You have a full hall bath and then a full master uh, bath. Wow, and that is something you don't see very often in a lot of homes anyway, mm -hmm. uh, but especially in a double wide. But if you see, it's got that big open kitchen, you've got hardwood flooring, uh, you've got the chair rail, all the updated trim. Um, so this one is one that another move in ready. There's not going to be much you want to do to this one. No, and then the other thing that I really like, it has a designated dining room. So a lot of times that living room space, yes, it looks big and open, but mm -hmm. a lot of times it's a multi-functional space. So it'll be a living room and you put a dining room table on one end. The living room picture that you're looking at with the fireplace, mm -hmm. that is all living room space because you have another designated specific dining room. Yes, so if you're one of these people that have that huge sectional that mm -hmm. you have to make sure, and I'm sure you see that a lot, is people look at a home because of the furniture that they already have. And yes. it's like, my bedroom suit has to fit, or my couch has to fit. Mm -hmm. No, if your couch does not fit in this living room, we have bigger issues. <laughs> right, you've got too large of a couch. Uh, but again, a double wide that's four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it's in a great family area neighborhood that's accessible from several different communities. So uh, definitely, if you're interested in moving into this area, you've got family in this area, uh, or you're just wanting to, to change your scenery up a little bit, this would be perfect for you. Absolutely, and it comes with a detached two-car garage, mm -hmm. and then it also has an above-ground pool with it. So you have wow. a, lot of, a lot of extras as well. Well, the price on this one, uh, 129, 129000 So uh, very well priced for everything that you're getting. And this one is brand new. This one's not been on the market long at all. So chances are it's not going to last long either. Well, that is our hope. Okay. We priced it to sell it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, let's give uh, your Pikeville office number one more time because everything that you've just seen is Jennifer's listing and you can get that by calling her at the Pikeville office. Absolutely. That number is 606-437-2333. All right. And as promised at the beginning of the show, uh, if we've piqued your interest in becoming a realtor and how to do exactly what Jennifer does, I'm going to step out now and let her tell you about it. Ray Brown & Williams Real Estate Services is looking for men and women interested in starting a new real estate career. RBNW continues to grow and we now have available positions for qualified candidates at any of our four Eastern Kentucky locations. If you're looking for a second career, a new career, more flexible hours, a new challenge, or just something new, a career in real estate or appraising may be just the answer. Feel free to call any of our offices to discuss your future career with one of our managers. Red Brown & Williams looks forward to hearing from you. Thank you for joining us on The Real Estate Show. Please join us again soon.